Installing Ubuntu Linux. You will need to download a free program called Unit Bootin. And you can go to the uh, link here. It's unitbootin.sourceforge.net. Uh, you have three versions here. This explains how it works. Very easy, very uh, dummy friendly, newbie friendly, new user friendly, however you want to be called. Uh, download for Windows, obviously. Um, I'm running this in Windows 7. Now I have already downloaded and install, installed this unit boot in. So let me bring it up. What this does, this allows you to take your Ubuntu 12.04 uh, downloaded file and transfer that to a USB stick so you can boot off the USB stick to try Ubuntu Linux off the USB stick before installing or if you're ready go ahead and install it. So the top left I have distribution the bottom left I have disk image click disk image I have an ISO file at the bottom it says USB drive it's drive G in my situation go to the right here click this over here I have it downloaded to my desktop click the Ubuntu 12.04.2 desktop i36 click open and I will click OK and it will begin to extract copy the files onto the USB sticks you will, so you will be ready to after installing reboot and boot off of the USB stick now this shouldn't take this long that long but while this is doing it let me explain a few things about booting off a USB stick it can vary uh, from computer to computer meaning you will have to boot you will have to boot into the BIOS to tell your computer that you will want to boot the priority will be to boot off a USB drive first on my particular IBM computer uh, a Lenovo desktop I have to I believe reboot and immediately press enter on your computer it can be press escape uh, you know F8 F10 it can vary so uh, I guess the best advice I can give you if you're not sure go to the uh, vendor to the manufacturer website for example if you have HP uh, desktop model number 1234 just go to HP's website do a search for that and under support or maybe frequently asked questions how to boot into bio so you can boot your priority should boot off the USB stick first so you can try your new Ubuntu Linux operating system. Of course you can always burn the file onto a uh, DVD. I think about a year ago I think I did a video on nine ways to try and or install Linux. Yeah there are that many ways. Um, obviously I can't go into that right now. But in this situation here as you see here it says to the top left it says installation complete reboot. I can either reboot now or exit. If I really wanted to install Ubuntu Linux, I would reboot and make sure that your computer is set to boot, is set in the BIOS to boot off, to boot first into the USB stick. And I would boot into Ubuntu Linux. I can either try it or in install it. Now, I already have uh, Ubuntu 12.04 installed as a dual boot uh, type of environment uh, in a dual boot system meaning in this computer here I am running both Windows 7 and Ubuntu 12.04 now when I reboot on my screen I will have a choice to boot into either Ubuntu which is the top of the list and I or I can scroll down to boot into Windows 7 now as I said I already have this installed so obviously I'm not going to install it again but for demonstration purposes I already have it installed in what's called a virtual box a virtual machine and this is actually one of the ways one of the nine ways that you can try uh, Linux to install or just try without even installing anything what's nice about this a virtual box it allows you to install it in a virtual you know a virtual environment without actually physically installing it on your hard drive as a dual boot uh, if you are completely new to this I know it's a lot of information uh, don't worry about it just follow along because we are going to uh, install Ubuntu 12.04.2 now once again after you installed it 
on your USB stick you will have to go into the BIOS if you haven't already before to tell it that you want to boot into your USB stick first. Okay, so let's go into the installation process and see what we have here. By the way, if you didn't want to install it right now, you can just go ahead and, you know, try this without installing anything. I'm just right clicking here just to give you, you know, an example that uh, it has some of the some similar functionality to Windows 7. Obviously this is not Windows, it's Linux, but it's not that difficult. So let's go ahead and um, double click install and see what happens. If you are running this on a laptop, I strongly suggest that it is plugged into the power supply and you are connected to the internet. Alright, so uh, I choose English, of course. Click continue. And it says here for best results, please ensure that this computer has at least 4.3 gigabytes available drive space is connected to the internet. Now, when you are installing this, even though I will not do it for my purpose here, make sure you highlight and click download updates while installing and this here also install third party software. If you don't do this, you're going to run into possibly run into some issues. In fact, I know you will run into some issues and you might be lost. So make sure you highlight and click these two options here. I will click continue. You see here two options, erase and install Ubuntu or do something else. Never click, do something else. This is manual partitioning. In my opinion, this is not for newbies. If you are installing this alongside Windows 7, you would have a third option here and it would and Ubuntu would see, it would read and see and understand that you have Windows 7. Do you want to erase the whole disk? Meaning do you want to eliminate Windows 7? Or it would ask you to install alongside Windows 7. And you would click and highlight that and click continue. Now in this situation here, I'm running it inside a virtual machine, meaning on the virtual uh, drive I have nothing else previously installed, so I would just click and erase and install Ubuntu. Now if you have, you know, Windows 7 and Windows Vista, and, you know, I don't know, maybe it's infected with bugs or viruses, and you don't feel like cleaning it out, you just want to erase it, you really don't care, you just want to install Ubuntu completely, and you, and you can certainly choose this option erase this and install Ubuntu if you so choose to. Alright, let's click continue. Okay, it reads my virtual box hard disk and it says the entire disk will be used. I will click install now. Again, very simple. At the bottom it says installing. It'll go into the formatting process to add the appropriate partitions such as, such as a swap partition root partition. If you have no idea what I'm talking about as far as partition goes, it's okay. Don't worry about it for this demonstration. It's not that important. Okay, well, where are you? It's reading that I am the eastern uh, time zone of the USA, which is fine. Click continue. It's here at the bottom. Uh, at the bottom it says copying files. Of course, I want to stick with the English keyboard layout. Click continue. You can type in here your name, anything you want. I will just use my, uh, I guess I'll use my YouTube username, uh, Toss Today. Your computer's name. I will also stick with um, just Toss Today. The password, oh, for now, just choose one, two, three. I would suggest you use a uh, longer password. And you have several options here. Uh, just to keep it simple, I, I like to choose login automatically. Uh, if you're a little bit more paranoid or want more privacy, you can require my password to log in, log in or encrypt your home folder. Um, I choose login automatically. This is strictly your choice. And let's click continue. And welcome to Ubuntu 12.04 LTS. I like this. This gives you a little bit of a slider show that explains a little bit what Ubuntu is all about as it is copying the files.
you can click this right arrow here if you want to and this will give you a little bit of a uh, slideshow you know find even more software it explains about the Ubuntu Software Center this is a centralized um, bank or a centralized repository to download all your software that is related to Ubuntu I'll just click the right arrow to continue have fun with your photos one of the photo apps is called Shotwell Photo Manager some other stuff related to uh, photos multimedia is something called GIMP Image Editor and PTV Video Editor and it says here at the bottom almost finished copying files obviously uh, the faster processor you have uh, the more RAM you have the faster this will install and or the faster it will run after you install Ubuntu 12.04 if you are running a virtual machine uh, you definitely want uh, a little bit more RAM uh, I recommend at least the minimum 3 gig um, of RAM preferably more if you want to try this inside a virtual machine as far as installing Ubuntu Linux, uh, you can, I would recommend at least one gigabyte of RAM. So if you have an older, older computer, you may try a lighter version uh, based, uh, a, a lighter, uh, a lighter version of Ubuntu called either Lubuntu, Zubuntu, uh, Zorin Lite, maybe Linux Mint, uh, Mate, or Main Edition. But if you have at least one gigabyte of RAM, uh, installing Ubuntu should be fine. And I'll just continue here clicking right along. Take your music with you. Again, this explains uh, some of the pieces of software pre installed, such as the Rhythm Box music player. This is my default uh, music player. Either when I'm running Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Zorn, Ubuntu, or anything else, uh, it's stable, it works, it's to the point. Um, I mean, what can I say? It just works. Another good media player that plays music, uh, both music and video, uh, would be um, Banshee, Banshee Music Player. Okay, let's continue here, right, out, right arrow, see what we have. Stay connected. This talks something about the Ubuntu message indicator. Keep going here, browse the web, uh, Firefox installed by default, the uh, supported software would be Flash and Chromium. Chromium. Uh, write and present for free. This is the um, uh, Office Suite, uh, somewhat comparable to Microsoft Word, uh, Office, somewhat. It's called LibreOffice. There are uh, several um, parts to this such as LibreOffice Writer, Calc, Impress. Customize Ubuntu it says here. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you can you have more options in customizing the look and feel in Linux, Ubuntu Linux, more than you do in a Windows based operating system. You may or may not care about that. That is entirely um, your decision. You don't have to customize anything. You can keep the standard look as you see here if you so choose to you know with this purplish wallpaper but you have other options and we'll talk about this as time goes on all right next slide any questions check out ask Ubuntu the best place to get an answer about Ubuntu I have used it, it uh, use this uh, it works great of course you can always check you know the total OS today channel here on YouTube uh, I think what I'll do is just pause the video come back when this is done and then we will boot into the system and the, hopefully everything has gone well so don't go away I'll be right back okay well as you can see this has finished installing installation uh, has finished you can continue testing Ubuntu now but until you restart the computer any changes you make or documents you save will not be be preserved so why not we just click restart now and see what happens
All right, so we are booting into the brand new Ubuntu, your brand new Ubuntu 12.04.2. Okay, so this is what your default desktop would look like you would ignore the top blue bar here away at the top this is part part of the virtual box if you remember uh, I used my uh, username of toss today this here you see at the left is uh, somewhat similar to the super bar in Windows 7 uh, this here is called a dash where you can search for specific applications that come pre-installed uh, this is the power button here with some menu, submenu options, the same thing here. I'm just going to go sc scroll to this real quick. I'll talk more about this in the next uh, video. Of course, you can right click. And if you wanted to change the wallpaper as you would want to, if you don't like this, again, somewhat similar to uh, Windows 7, you can certainly do that. It'll give you different options as it is highlighting here to the right and you have different themes also but this is what it looks like when you install Ubuntu 12.04 brand new on your computer I think I will leave the tutorial here as far as the installation uh, process goes if you have any uh, que uh, questions and or comments just uh, let me know I'll try to answer as many as I can but again this is the installation process uh, very painless uh, once again there are several ways to try and install Ubuntu 12.04 you can run it as a as a complete install meaning you can erase the hard drive if you have Windows Vista or Windows 7 you can run it as a dual boot that's what I usually do in not all of my machines but most of them it's, it's strictly a matter of choice so for this tutorial I think I would leave uh, I will leave the installation process as you have seen thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you find these useful and as always I will catch all of you sometime in the future